Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use simple forms with Django. Now, there's actually a lot to cover concerning forms, but for this example, I'm just gonna show you guys a really basic way to include forms on your web pages. And since we don't have a whole lot going on with this website right now, for this example, what I'm gonna do is, for each of these songs, I'm just gonna put a radio button next to it. And then at the bottom, I'll have a button called like submit or favorite or whatever. And then when you select the item and hit favorite, it's just going to put a little star next to the song, AKA favorite it. And of course that's a pretty dumb way to favorite songs if you're making an actual application, but whenever I'm teaching forms, it's going to be, you know, a really easy example. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, before we start coding off fun stuff, the first thing we need to do is we need to change this songs class. Now we need to change it because these songs, they need another attribute and I'll just name it something like is favorite. So this is just going to be a regular Boolean. So models Boolean field right here. Now, of course, by default, whenever you just add your songs, they're not your favorite yet. So we can set a default of false to these songs. So again, whenever the user either clicks a star or submits this form, then this is going to be set to true. And whenever this is true, that means that this particular song is one of their favorites. Simple enough. So now that we updated it in our models, we actually need to do those migrations I talked to you guys about. So remember that's Python manage, spell that right, manage.py make migrations music so this means hey we made some changes to uh the blueprint of the songs and just go ahead and make that sql file aka make the change file so now we have the change file and we actually have to run it on our database to actually update our database structure so python manage.py migrate so again this makes the changes and this actually applies the changes. So now our database is up to date. The structure is beautiful and you actually saw it turn blue. I don't know if you guys saw that. And that just means that changes were applied. Now, another thing I want to point out, I actually don't even know if I pointed this out, but whenever you change the structure of your database, you also have to restart your server. So if you're using the command line, in running server from there, just hold control C and that's going to stop it and then use the run server command again. Or if you're using PyCharm, then you can just go ahead and hit this button, rerun website. So there you go, booted back up again. And hopefully when you refresh, we shouldn't see any errors. So good to go. And after this, what we can do from here is create a favorite URLs map. So you know how I said that these URLs usually point to a website and you know they pretty much the user requests a view and it gives them back a website but this isn't always the case it isn't always a one-to-one -one relationship sometimes you want a URL that just performs some logic for example let's say that you're making a social network of course the view profile will take you to someone's profile videos will take you to the videos but the log out URL it wouldn't take you to a page just for logging out. It would take you to some URL. It would perform some logic, AKA log you out. And then it would just redirect you to the home page. So again, that is the one um, case scenario where you're going to have a URL and it's not directly hooked up to a template or something that the user looks at. Sometimes it's just hooked up to some logic and then it redirects you to some other web page. So that's what favoriting is going to do. Whenever we favorite, just like logging out, it's just going to perform some action in the background and it's just going to redirect them to the same page that they were on. So they're not going to know that, you know, we even have this URL. So let's just go ahead and let me change this. And there's a dog barking outside. So, you know, that's pretty cool. All right. So the structure for this would just be favorite. Why is there a dog barking? It's annoying me. All right. And I can actually copy this. All right. So instead of views detail, it's just going to be views favorite. 
And for our nice little shortcut, we'll just name it favorite. So again, whenever we submit the form to favorite a song, what it's gonna go through is it's going to find the ID of the song, whatever song we selected, and it's gonna take that information and it's gonna pass it to the favorite URL. Now, whenever the form information gets there, it's just gonna set the songs is favorite to true, and then after it does that, it's just gonna redirect them to the same page. So simple enough, and this dog is really annoying me, so I'm gonna go ahead and close my windows. I'll see you guys in the next video.